So we're looking at high school transcripts, we're looking at essays, resumes. Bellarmine University looks at all angles during the admissions process. The school's vice president of enrollment, marketing and communications says there's no perfect formula to find the right fit. Our ultimate goal is to admit future Bellarmine Knights. The soon-to-be Division I school released its new strategic plan last spring. Access and affordability, equity and inclusion, and expansion and diversity in enrollment are all key focuses. That's how the test optional status announced Monday came to life. It really empowers the student to make that decision. We sat down with Dr. Michael Marshall, who says paying for the ACT or SAT test prep classes, even the test redos often keep underrepresented communities from coming to the college admissions table. For some, it's the test anxiety that ruins their test score. What we discovered was the GPA and high school GPA and the rigor of the high school curriculum were the strongest predictors for success as far as first to second year retention. Historically, there are two important scores. One's your ACT or SAT score, and the other one's your GPA. Dr. Patty Weigel is the owner and director of Educational Resources, a Louisville-based tutoring and test prep service with dozens of success stories. She says standardized test scores play a vital role for students applying to larger universities. It can also give you a competitive edge. And it's also an equalizer in the sense that um, it's the one test that all students can take. And we're back out here live tonight, and Dr. Marshall told us that about 1,100 other schools have gone test optional, but get this, about only 25% of those students have chosen not to share their test scores, the other 75% submitting those with their applications. We're live from Bellarmine University's campus tonight. Marvis Herring, WLKY News.